Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchage here with your outlook for August 11th, 2015. And we're going to have a warm front that's pushing it through this morning. In between a warm front and cold front is going to be this area of uh, moderate to heavy rainfall. And I do think this is going to end quite early. Uh, there was some talk about this lasting all day. I really don't think that's going to be the case. We're going to have a, a drying period. Uh, and most of the rain should be moving out from west to east by about mid-morning, even over here in New Jersey. I'm going to show you this in the, as we get to the high-res radar in a minute. Uh, you basically have a, an area of low pressure that's going to be uh, situated to our north over western New York State. And uh, the warm front is going to be situated out here like this. And right close to it here is going to be the cold front. It's going to be very close by. So in between here, there's going to be an area clearing. And once this uh, area of precipitation passes, of course, at this time stamp, this is actually all situated further to the west here that I have indicated here. But uh, this is going to be the theme of the day here. And then we're going to have a line of storms come through this afternoon. And it's uncertain whether that's going to be just one big line or it's going to be a couple line segments forming. And uh, that should be taking place in the afternoon hours. So let's go over the name high res future simulator radar and take a look at uh, early in the morning here. This is just the uh, heavy precipitation moving in from uh, west to east here. And uh, this will pretty much be out of here again by mid morning here. Ready to move ahead uh, from this time frame here. Show you the embedded heavy rainfall that moves into uh, New Jersey here. Here's a look at 7 a.m. So it might have some morning rush issues over here in New Jersey at our eastern sections, but they will all be already be tapering off here uh, to the west. And going ahead from here, uh, here's 9 a.m. and you're looking at uh, most of the area. Uh, everything is uh, pretty much clear of the coast here at this point. So uh, still some leftover residual showers, of course, uh, hanging behind the front here. But for the most part, uh, everybody's clearing out here. Now, I don't mean clearing out as, as in the sun's breaking out already. I, I do think there's a possibility of that. Uh, that'll probably be a little bit later as so we get into the early afternoon hours here. This is the point where I could see the sun breaking out and getting into a mostly cloudy uh, with a few breaks of sun, especially across these areas right here. And uh, because of the drier air aloft that's moving in behind this early morning rain and some converging winds aloft, uh, you know, some backing winds here, uh, this will help to fuel any thunderstorms that are that do form and come through here. So uh, I don't want to say this is, is, this is a really high concern here, but uh, any of these line segments that form and the NAMS trying to push uh, push a segment down to the south and trying to form another one at the north here, any of these storms, because of those factors I talked about, uh, will have the ability to put out some pretty gusty winds. 50, 50 miles, uh, 50, 55 miles per hour is, is certainly with, uh, within the poss realm of possibility with any of these uh, line segments of former isolated storms uh, as they push towards the coast here. I do think that uh, this, this ends uh, quicker. And this is not an all night, all evening event. The front's going to push through. Uh, the only thing we have to watch for is maybe some showers still behind the front here. But uh, if everything works out, I do think we get uh, to the evening hours and we're clearing out. So um, you know, the exception with it will be our eastern areas here. Not sure about all this stuff up here still showing here in the evening, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it here on Tuesday. And going back to the global models here, I'm uh, going to move ahead from this point. Here is the afternoon hours, uh, or sorry, here's the afternoon hours. And you can see the bulk of the precipitation is now moved up here over New England here. So we're just left with uh, a little bit of willow window clearing in here. And I don't mean complete clearing again. I'm just talking about getting to mostly cloudy. Um, mostly cloudy still allows for peaks of sun. So, but if the sky is mostly cloudy that's why we call it mostly cloudy so any sun that does uh, come out in your area this will definitely help to destabilize the atmosphere even further because that cold front is situated right back here at this point and uh, here's your low pressure sitting up here so it has not come through yet so you have a window of opportunity for some storms to form here ahead of this uh, frontal boundary and that's what we're going to be watching for here on Tuesday afternoon. Going a bit further from this point, this front clears and we have rapid de uh, decreasing of clouds overnight and uh, look sets up uh, Wednesday to be a partly cloudy uh, day. We're going to have to watch out for a, you know maybe a quick shower here on, uh, on Wednesday uh, with some upper uh, upper air energy moving through here, but I don't think this is a big deal. I think most areas just stay partly cloudy all day on Wednesday, and then Thursday, high pressure is over the anchored over the Ohio, Ohio Valley. This in this position, whenever you have a high pressure sitting out here, uh, the wind flow of course is clockwise around, around uh, high pressure. That means you're going to have a northwest wind, and it's going to be a very comfortable day here. Actually, on Wednesday too. Wednesday should be pretty comfortable too with northwest wind. They're probably even more comfortable here on Thursday. Uh, bright sunny skies here on uh, 
on Thursday. And Friday, we're going to have uh, winds that are going to start shifting to the southwest. And by doing that, it's going to bring in an increase in temperature and a little bit of an increase in humidity. So uh, still a mostly sunny day here we're expecting on Friday. No precipitation to speak of. The next area of precipitation that may come with a cold front right now it fa favors our northern sections uh, for a late day isolated thunderstorm. Best forcing is going to be off to our north and northeast here of our coverage area here. So best forcing is going to be up here in this area here. So we're not expecting anything uh, over the top here later on Saturday. Saturday, but this be a late day isolated thunderstorm uh, best chance for that would be across our northern zones here uh, but depending on timing of the front that might speed up as well uh, so just check back with us uh, if you have any weekend plans I think most of the weekend is dry uh, very warm and then Sunday uh, high pressure is going to move in behind this front and it's going to be another beautiful day uh, despite the warm temperatures temperatures will still remain in the upper 80s for many locations uh, might even close come close to the 90 degree mark down here by Philadelphia I think maybe uh, I'll say close. I don't know about uh, hitting 90 degrees. Yeah, I think our, we have those chances of hitting 90 degrees down here for a couple days in a row down here early next week. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchich, and that is your outlook for August 11th, 2015. Have a great Tuesday.